General Hospital Spoilers Friday, June 28. Jason blows up at Carly. Ava seeks Avery help. Sunny romances Natalia. Carly's 70. Percent captivity chances. Violet cries as Finn leaves. Greetings to all General Hospital fans. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest updates. General Hospital Spoilers Friday, June 28. Jason blows up at Carly. Ava seeks Avery help. Sunny romances Natalia. General Hospital spoilers for Friday, June 28, reveal that Brooke Lynn Quartermain will ask what Harrison Chase thinks of Tracy Quartermain's idea. Now that Hamilton Finn is out at recovery, Violet Finn could use a stable terrain with lots of probative people around. Living at the Quartermain manse makes sense, so Chase and Brooke Lynn feel poised to officially move by. Meanwhile, Blaze Aka Allison, Allie, Rogers will quiz Christina Corintos. Davis about her plans. Christina will drop some hints that catch Blaze off guard and leave her wondering if Christina would actually try to get guardianship from Molly Lansing. Davis. Over with Ava Jerome, she'll stand her ground when it comes to guarding her part in Avery Corintos' life. Ava will turn to Laura Collins for help, so she may suppose Laura can get through to Sunny Corintos and stop him from turning this into a guardianship feud. Unfortunately, Laura and Sunny aren't really musketeers these days, so her opinion isn't going to count to Sunny presently. Ava might push for Sunny to land in captivity rather and hope that he'll get arrested over his attack Cyrus Renal, Dex Heller, and whatever differently the Bobbies can throw at him. Maybe Ava will suppose Laura can press Anna Devane to move forward with the case against Sunny and try to get him locked up ASAP. Coming on Friday's General Hospital occasion, Sonny will continue to bond with Natalia Ramirez, so he'll toast to chancing musketeers, though effects could take a further than friendly turn sooner or latterly. Is Sonny and Natalia's first kiss on the horizon? Anyhow, Sonny will try to love Natalia and try to pull her near. At home, Carly Spencer will face Jason Morgan's fury once she admits she knows about the FBI's influence. Carly might confess that Sam McCall told her after Damien Spinelli addressed into the database using John Jagger, Kate's credentials. That news could leave Jason concerned about the possibility of Sam and Spinelli getting fractured, which could give the FBI more blackmail material, or worse, shoot them both to captivity. Of course, Jason will also worry that Carly's going to do commodity to blow effects up. Carly may admit that she considered turning herself in, but Jason will fly into a rage and spell out why that can't be. Still, also everything Jason has offered to cover her means nothing. If Carly lands behind bars, Jason will roar at Carly and try to get that through her head, so there will surely be some tense moments for these BS. General Hospital spoilers say Jason will get updates on Carly's knowledge of the situation and advise her not to make a mess so stick with us for further prognostications on the raising drama. General Hospital Thursday, June 27, recap Carly's 70, percent captivity chances. Violet cries as Finn leaves. General Hospital spoilers recap for Thursday, June 27, reveals that Hamilton Finn assured Violet Finn that his hand was okay and praised her for doing the right thing when she called Tracy Quartermain for help. Still, Finn explained that he was sick since he drank alcohol and demanded some help to stop. Violet wanted to come with Finn, but he claimed she couldn't come where he was going. Although Violet offered to help Finn not drink alcohol rather, he claimed he'd to go down for three months and promised to come back to her. Violet eventually gave Finn a fellowship cuff, which he put in his fund and promised to keep right by his heart. After Finn hugged Violet, he stopped to blow her a kiss on his way out the door. Violet pretended to catch it and accepted Brooklyn's comforting grasp as she cried. Finn was in gashes too, and those gashes kept rolling as he participated a sincere farewell with Chase in the auto outside the recovery installation. After Finn took his bag and walked through the door, Chase hit the steering wheel in frustration and prepared to drive off. Back with Brooklyn, she gave Violet plenitude of consolation and described Finn's recovery as a positive experience. 
Violet guessed it was sort of like camp and sounded a little more at ease with the idea. Since the spa was closed, Jason Morgan took Dandy Morgan to the garage rather and tutored him how to change the oil painting on his motorcycle. Danny grew near to Jason as he asked about his traumatic brain injury and learned about some other details of Jason's history. Coming on Thursday's GH occasion, Dante Falconeri told Sam McCall that he let Jason pick Danny up, which Sam wasn't thrilled about, especially considering what she now knew. Sam gave Dante updates on the FBI's influence and how Jason had been putting Carly Spencer first the whole time. So they decided Danny could no way find out about that. Of course, Dante was substantially concerned about Sam and Damien Spinelli's crime, which he was now intertwined in. Sam acted like nothing could be proven, but Dante remained upset that Sam could land behind bars and get separated from her kitties. That's why Sam demanded to do nothing and try to let all this blow over. Sam called Spinelli and left him a voicemail before Jason dropped Danny out. Sam and Dunt could see that Danny had clicked with Jason indeed more thanks to their garage time together. In Carly's kitchen, she admitted she demanded Diane Miller to help her stay out of captivity. Although Carly wouldn't reveal her source, she explained how the indicting recording came to live and said the FBI was holding it over Jason. Since the FBI presumably wouldn't recognize the terms of their deal with Jason anyway, Carly sought a vaticination on her chances of vindication if she dived this head on. Diane said Carly was presumably looking at 30%, which meant there was a 70% chance that Carly would get locked up. Diane didn't like those odds for Carly, nor did she like them for Donna Corinthos. After Diane refocused out that Jason had been keeping Carly out of captivity so far, she advised Carly to just let him handle this. Diane pledged to start preparing a defense just in case, but she wanted Carly to just sit tight in the meantime. At Jocelyn Jack's new apartment, Dex Heller helped her move some stuff before admitting there was a time he imagined her living with him. And Jocelyn had imagined that, too. Dex eventually wondered what it'd take to get them back to where they were before Jocelyn knew he was willing to kill for Sonny Corinthos. Jocelyn was glad Dex didn't do it, but she claimed Dex didn't have to prove himself to her. Now that Dex's PCPD career plans were going well, Jocelyn could tell he was right where he was supposed to be. Since Dex had to take off, Jocelyn suggested that perhaps she'd be in the demand to watch him run by with the pimps in the morning. General Hospital spoilers say Jocelyn and Dex could still face some obstacles along the way so stay tuned for further news on their trip together. Thanks for watching these videos. Please hit the subscribe button for more updated news.